In this tutorial, we're going to introduce Scratchpad, which is something Mozilla has included in Firefox to help people not just run programs, but to save programs uh, instead of just writing them to the web console. To start Scratchpad, you'll start on a new tab or, or on any web page that you might want to modify, and press Shift F4. That will start Scratchpad. Uh, and this is basically an editor. Um, we're going to do something we did in an earlier tutorial, but we're going to save it as a program. This way we are able to get to it, modify it later, and so on, instead of having it gone when we close Firefox. Let's define some variables. Now, I can just write something like a equals um, 2, b equals 3, c equals 1. It's probably better to write the word var in front. You see Scratchpad has some syntax highlighting. If you get into that habit anytime you're, you're creating a new variable, um, it's a good idea. The other thing that's a good habit is to put a semicolon. Now, everything will run without those two. It's just as things get more complicated, you might find that you get into trouble if you don't include those two. So, um, all right. So we have three variables. Let's let's do a few things with them. First of all, let's uh, create another one. Uh, let's just say x1 equals. Let's use the quadratic formula. So everything you see in green here is a comment. So there are two ways of doing comments. One is using that symbol at the beginning and that symbol at the end. So that's how you get this comment here at the top. The other is by using a double slash, um, and that can go anywhere in the line. So up here, this is a block comment, and this is an inline comment. So here, x1, negative b, plus math square root b times b, minus 4 times a times c, close parentheses. You can see it even tracks where the parentheses are over 2 times a. So you can see the matching parentheses. So as you scroll, isn't that cool? So this is one of the other advantages. It will uh, help you in uh, evaluating things. All right, so let's make another line. I'm going to copy this. Let's get the other one. Let's call this minus, because there's a plus or minus. I'll call it x2. Now, how do we actually see those results? To see results simplest way is to use console log. That's a function that writes everything to the console. So let's go ahead and try that. So console log. And I'm going to use quotes here. I can use single or double quotes. I'll do it both ways just so you see how it works. x1 equals that plus now is what's called a concatenation symbol. It, it uh, puts a string together. So here, this is the label, and this is going to be the value. We'll do it again, console log x2 equals, notice here, I use the double quote. If you start with a double quote, you got to end with a double quote. If you start with a single quote, you got to end with a single quote. So let's go ahead and run that. So I'm going to move this over. You can use the execute menu, and you'll note there's a shortcut, control R. Now, before I do that, let me go back to here and hit, if you recall, Control-Shift-K. Uh, that starts everything up. And now, and by the way, if you want to clear previous results, you can just type clear, follow it with parentheses, and then you clear your screen. And so here now, I'm just going to hit Control-R to run, and you can see these are the results I had from before. So that's pretty straightforward, pretty simple. Um, let's say that we want to do something a little bit different with this. So, well, actually, let's save this, and then we'll try something a little different. So I'm going to say save, and you got to remember where it is. You can go with the default. Um, I'm going to call this Scratchpad Physics 1. Save. So now I'll be able to open that up later, even after I've exited the browser, and then I can rerun it. 
Now, there's something else about the scratch pad that you need to know, and that is that it follows the scope of the page. So, um, I'm going to save this now as a different file, because I want to modify it. It's called scratch pad physics 2. And let's say that I want to compute an average. Well, we can do that by hand. Divided by C, let's try that again, divided by 3. And then Control R to run, and now the average is the correct thing. Well, it may be that sometimes you want to actually make use of a function that is on a page. So what if average was a function? Let's let's go and see that. So um, now what is a function? That's probably a good thing to go and try go and uh, try to understand. Um, a function. Let's see. Let's, let's actually just start here, for example. If I start typing something here, you can see these are all different functions that are found in the source code of the page. Um, depending on what page you're on, you're going to see different things. Uh, let me go to... I have open track up here. Control shift k works on that as well. If I start typing, there are many more functions here accessible. Some of them are going to look statistical in nature. Uh, some of them have to do with uh, uh, displaying results. Some of them are linear algebra. There's all kinds of stuff on here. Uh, so this accesses both functions and variables on the page. If your scratch pad window is over top of a page, it gets the scope of the window. What that means is all those functions that you saw from the web console are accessible. So for example, let's say I'll type AVG. And here I'm going to introduce a new structure called an array. One, two, three. See the square brackets there. So um, I could just as easily say D equals one, two, three. That is an array that is a container for those three numbers. And now if I type AVG uh, D, I should get that same answer. All right, now let's go over to Scratchpad and do the same thing. So if I type um, D equals ABC, that's my array, and let's say that E equals Average D. And then I'll do console log E. Not console log. Average is E. So if I do this, and I now hit control R, you'll see that it comes up. Let's go to my other window over here. This is just a blank screen. There's, there is no, if I start typing average, nothing comes up there. So if I go here and I try this, watch what happens. Control R. Ooh, it's not defined. So, in short, Scratchpad follows the scope of the window. Now, you may not know what all those functions are. Uh, they will be introduced in some upcoming tutorials. In fact, we are going to look at the component of OpenTrack called JSVG that contains all of the math library. So if you want to start over, you get rid of that. You go to the window that you like, and let's go back to Scratchpad. And let's change these values around. 5, 4, 10. I can run it again. And all of that works if I want to get standard deviation. what that is, std, and I believe I want std v2. Again, don't worry about if you don't know what that is yet. 
standard deviation of D, and then console log ST is ST. Control R to run. Now I get the average and the standard deviation. Okay, so uh, all of this is actually quite easy to do. Um, and I hope you see that this is now better than using a calculator because you can store what you've done. And if you find that you made a mistake, it's very easy to go back and change just one thing.